evening, everybody, and uh, welcome to this video. As you can see, I kind of sped up this video. Uh, it's eight times speed. So uh, let's get started on this. So this is a fiber optic kit. It came, I forgot where I ordered it from, but uh, when, if I could find the information, I'll post it in the comments below. I'm just going to be voicing over this because the original audio with the video became corrupted for some reason. I don't know why. So I'm opening up the package of the transmitter kit. The transmitter kit was by far the one that had the most components in it. You see here you got a printed circuit board, a fiber optic cable. It even came with solder. And we have a checklist of everything that came with it. Right here is a package of resistors. I'm going through and we're going to inventory all the resistors. And the kit even has like the color code. This teaches every single bit of information that you need to know about the electronics. And we can go over it in further detail if you want. So right now I am going through and ca uh, cataloging each one of the items that are in it, making sure that we have it taken inventory. Each one of the resistors that are included in the kit for the build. And the printed circuit board has a silk screen on it showing where each item goes. All right, so I got the soldering iron all hot. Solder seems to wet just fine on the tip of the soldering iron. And now we look at the assembly instructions. The assembly instructions uh, are pretty good for this. Now we're uh, inventorying the capacitors, the uh, uh, transistor, and transistor that came with the kit, and um, uh, diodes and microphone and IC that comes with the kit. The IC uh, and the IC socket holder. So inside here is uh, uh, the switches that are used to power it on and off and turn on a tone generator. This has a built-in tone generator in the kit also. Uh, so you can have uh, a tone go through it if you wanted to, to test the circuitry. Alright, reading through here, this tells you exactly how the circuitry works um, with it. And we can go through it if you like. Alright, so here I'm putting the lug on. The lug is what actually holds the fiber optic cable in place. That right here is the light emitting diode. It is clear in color, but it actually emits a red light. And it is placed right in front of the lug on the circuit board. Clipping all the leads as we go. You may notice I am not using helping hands. Uh, I wanted to show this without using any equipment that aids. So you can even do this at home if you have a soldering iron. Soldering down the switch. Now there's two switches on this. One is uh, for the tone generator to turn on and off the tone generator. And the other one is uh, to actually turn on and off the actual transmitter itself. So I'm going to solder various components onto the printed circuit board. Right here, this is the socket, uh, the IC socket, and it is uh, keyed in a way. Uh, there, on all IC sockets, there's either there's a notch on one end that indicates where pin one is going to be at. And it's important to make sure that all the pads get entirely wetted when soldering. Alright, so when inserting the IC, the IC, the leads on it are usually spaced outward a little bit, so you have to bend them inward a little bit before inserting it into the socket. It makes it a little bit easier. Now I'm soldering down the actual power switch right there. Okay, now it is time for an electrolytic capacitor. Now, the electrolytic capacitor is polarized, hence the uh, negative terminal. You must make sure you 
get it placed in the circuit board the correct way. Bad things can happen if you don't. You can look up reverse polarity capacitors, see what happens. Not pretty sight. Here I'm inserting one of the mylar capacitors. Now mylar capacitors are not polarized in most cases. Neither are the ceramic capacitors. Okay, one thing you're not seeing here, since we're going through this at really a fast speed, is that each time I put a component in, I am putting them all in kind of the same way. The color bands of the resistors are all fashioned to where the tolerance band, which is the metallic color band used in most cases, is in a downward on the circuit board, or it's to the le uh, very left as you're reading it. Just like you would read a color code, uh, red, 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 or red, green, blue, or something like that. You're reading from left to right. Well, the tolerance band will be on the right, far right side. The, turn, the battery holder, the wires were very stiff with this kit. I had to use a lot of brute force to bend them into where they would fit into the circuit board. And soldering them required a lot of heat. Now it's uh, time to test it. So on the testing instructions, it says turn it on and see if you got light. And I do got light. Now, if you don't have a multimeter, you need to stop right now and go get a multimeter. It asked me to test on all the pins, uh, on certain pins, for the voltage of about half of the battery's voltage. And it did check out. Now it's time to build the receiver. Again, we are going to inventory all the items that are in the kit before we continue with the build. I mean, if you don't have all the items, there's no sense of continuing with the build. There are considerably fewer parts with the receiver than there was with the transmitter. And going by the assembly instructions, we build the receiver. First, it wants us to uh, insert the uh, capacitor, the electrolytic capacitor, and the power diode. One of the mylar capacitors. And on this one, I inserted several parts at the same time, then flipped it over to solder it. This did save some time. However, it's kind of hard to tell because of how long each build took. Uh, it took about 45 minutes for each build, really. Maybe about 30 minutes for this one. And I probably did some of my best soldering on this kit after getting warmed up on the transmitter. I had to check to make sure that I, when I bridged a solder connection that I did not mess something up. 
So I had to refer back to the schematic diagram to ensure that those connections were supposed to be bridged together. Again, I'm inserting the op amp. And these are the speaker leads. Now the speaker leads did not come pre-stripped for you, so you have to strip them yourselves. And of course, following you know a general rule of thumb with red being positive and black being negative, you want to insert them in the correct polarity hole. Of course, all the electrolytic capacitors are uh, have to have be installed in the correct polarity as well. So the photo transistor has to be installed, installed in a certain way for it to work correctly. There's a little dimple on one side that has to be facing toward the fiber optic cable. The pot that I installed is used to control the volume And we're soldering down the power switch and a few more components. And we are just about done with the, the receiver section. The battery holder is going in place, tightening it down. Now the directors did not call for this, but I twisted the cable up for the uh, speaker so that it would stay as one instead of be whipping around everywhere each cable. And now we are done with that build. Now we need to uh, test it by inserting a battery and following the testing procedures. So, after inserting the battery, using our voltmeter again, remember, if you don't have one, get one, we test the input voltage to the IC, ensure that it is half of what it, the battery is. Now we connect the fiber optic cable. And I had to space this out a little bit. It was a little too tight to insert the fiber optic cable into that one. And now we can test it. All right, now it's time to test it. Okay, turn it on. Turn on the tone generator. Tone generator seems to be working. And let's see if we got sound. Do we have sound? I don't hear sound. Why don't, why don't I hear sound? Uh, let's see here. Turn on the tone generator again. I got sound. Now do I have... Oh, I do. I do have voice. I have voice. Testing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is the voice going through fiber optics.